Hello friends. So this is also a MITV app, a remote app, but it is for the Chinese TV. Somehow I got this app A A P K, and what I found that there are two important feature which are missing in the whatever the one I have shown you earlier, the MITV remote app. So let's see. So once you launch this app, I will post the link of the APK in the description the section. So once you launch the app, it will automatically detect that there is a uh, remote in the same network. Okay. So you just go ahead and click there. Uh -huh. You will see the first one that is the basic remote. Okay. So uh, you may see sometime trouble not connecting and like you can see in my screen. But you try three four times and it will definitely connect. So these are the settings on this thing, which I don't find anything useful. Okay, the first one is the sign-in option, and then they the, this will show you the all the list of app on the TV, whatever is there. Maybe you can launch them also. Next one is the customer support option, not useful for us. Then there is some setting option. You can always use the Google Translate to see what's meaning meaning of those. So let's go and see all the remotes. So this is the basic remote. What is already we have seen. This is same as there is no difference on this thing. You can see the mic button, but I have seen it is not useful for us. So like, ha, like in the menu bar, you can see there are three, four types of remotes. There is a basic D-pad remote. Okay, so there's the basic function. Whatever. There is the second one. You can swipe in left, in left, out, out, and all that. Then this is the most important one that the third remote that is the best one which in which you can have a mouse functionality, which was missing in what we have in from the Play Store. So this is very useful. So for the apps like Netflix, Geo TV, and Geo Cinema app, which will not work with the MI remote, they will only work with the mouse. So we have a we don't have the mouse in the app which we got from the Play Store. So this app is helpful there. So that's the most important feature of this thing. Then you can see this is the game game console. You want to play some game, you can do like that. And another important feature of this app is that it will work on the lock screen also. So even if the phone is locked, you can still increase decrease the volume and do all those things. This is the thing that okay when you change the the in the landscape mode you can see whatever is there on the TV you can see here as well you can tap it select it and all those things you can do from your phone itself you can launch the apps so the most important feature I found of this app is the mouse functionality for in Netflix and Geo if we can't we can just uh, scroll using the mouse and you, you can select the option. Typing also, search also you can do from this. The keyboard will be the TV keyboard only, but still it's a good handy app. So another this thing is Cetus app, which this is also you can use to play. Uh, but I found some problem in connectivity, but you can try maybe the latest version still uh, may it, it may work fine. Uh, the main problem was that the remote 